Hey guys and girls, I'm James Stanton and welcome to my channel. Before you go, today we're talking about a cold shoe mount for audio and video production because we're not talking about drones because... So this is something you don't see every day in Texas. It is snowing like crazy out here. We get this about every five or ten years. So today I'm going to be showing you this cool triple cold mount that goes on a, a tripod or a gimbal. It's very simple and it's a, be a short video. So let's dig in. First, I want to show you the flowers I got from my wife for Valentine's Day. Aren't they pretty? So here we have the Ulanzi Triple Cold Shoe Mount. It comes in this nice box. You pull it out, it's very simple. As soon as you pull it out, you really notice how solid a piece of metal this is. I mean, it's not plastic, because you definitely don't want to have this mounted to your camera on a tripod and it'd be you know, made of flimsy plastic or something. This is extremely well, well built. Um, it's very simple. You just attach the, the triple shoe mount to here. To here. Then, then you go underneath here and you attach this to your camera. And then your tripod mount mounts to that. I always forget to clip that down and wonder why my tripod mount won't won't lock into place and if you look look how sturdy this is i mean this is an extremely sturdy piece of metal that you can uh, use and put this on top of your tripod and then you can go in there and you can mount your microphones your lights can come out here anything like that so <laughs> take two <laughs> let me show you the other option is to put the triple mount right here and then you're putting all the weight on top of your camera and I'm just so afraid of bending this I don't mind putting a flash up here but I'm not going to put a triple cold mount on top of my camera and have everything up here real bulky when it can be down low here with better weight balance so here we have it mounted to a, the Osmos 3 gimbal is which I use all the time it allows you to mount uh, your microphone to it or anything else it works really really well and if you you can also walk around with it handheld like this with your phone on it in front of you and it works pretty cool. So you might say, James, I don't have an Osmos 3 or a tripod. I just want to use my phone and will it work good with that? Of course it will. Just get you a little phone carrier like this one. I get these for four or five dollars, maybe six dollars on Amazon. And then you uh, just attach this. here your phone clips on here they can go either way right yes. then you go get you, then you get you a, just a little small handheld tripod mount you can get one longer and it just screws onto here and you can use it flat and stationary with your phone here with the microphone lights anything on here and then you can close this and uh, and bring this to this like let me give you one more tip. If you're using a, a microphone or a Rode microphone or any microphone, what, it comes with this adapter that you plug into and you're probably gonna wanna put a lightning adapter on and plug that into your phone. But you know what? That's not gonna work. Let me show you why. You see these two? You see these have the two black lines each? The iPhone needs three. So you've gotta go get this. The SC7 adapter. And here's what it cost on Amazon. And the reason is because, see how this one has uh, two lines and this one has three? And that's what it takes. So this would plug into your Rode microphone or any microphone. And then you're gonna plug in your lightning, lightning adapter. And then this plugs into your phone and now you have sound. Very frustrating if you don't know why, why this isn't working. So this is how you get sound, not with this, if you use this. So overall, a really, really, really high quality, good product uh, for $15. This could really boost your video production uh, capabilities and give you a lot more options. I love this little thing. I use it every day when I'm doing my... 
And thanks so much for watching. I hope you got something out of it. If you did, please like and subscribe. I've got a lot of really cool videos coming out about drones and audio and video production. And in the next one, I'm going to show how I got this really cool blurry background. And uh, so see you in the next one. And uh, happy Valentine's Day.